Hello there, welcome to Recon Specialist TV. This is Patrick Patrick. And I am Padre. And today we are unboxing the Nabu Royal N1 Starfighter. The ship that everybody wants, but not everybody gets. You have it there at your house, because, uh, you know, COVID. So yeah. tell us about it. What's it look like? How it, gorgeous is it? What you see is exactly what I saw. Uh, staring at you is a uh, a silver grayish uh, ship. And, uh, of course, it has the 2020 convention exclusive sticker, which somehow makes this a $20 ship all the way to, in some cases, $160. Shame on you. Let's cut. Well, what's on the back? What are the contents of this thing? Okay. So here's the front. Of course, here's the, the side. You know, it says, you know, limited edition. Yep. Um, and then on the back, we have this expand and upgrade your star wars x-wing game the naboo royal n1 is a sleek and agile starfighter well suited to its role as a diplomatic escort for the planet's ambassadors this convention exclusive miniature flaunts an elegant chromium paint scheme sure to stand out amongst your galactic republic forces this pack includes everything you need to add one limited edition Nabu Royal N1 Starfighter ship to your game. Contents, 16 cards, 21 tokens, one maneuver dial, one painted plastic ship with base and pegs. All right, let's open this thing. Oh, let's waste 160 had... bucks. Let's see. There it is. I'm, I'm actually curious in how you open the box because I... I well, ripped these things open. We're going to go like this first. Well, Ooh, this nice is an clean. unboxing. I want it to be, you know, really, you know, cool. We're going to take out the insides first. The guts. We're taking out the guts. And, of course, we're going to pull out all of the crap that goes with it. Box is empty. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to lay all this crap right here. Of course, everybody needs pegs and a base. Yep. We have the... Naboo Royal Starfighter Expansion Pack contents. It comes with... Do you want me to read this? Not really, but it does come with a lot of stuff. It comes with a lot of stuff. I'm I'm not unhappy with everything that it comes with. It comes with a pretty picture. Now, oh. this... I got, I got news for you. Does not look what that is. I'd rather it be painted like that. Yes. Now, there's new rules. Yeah, what? New rules. Below are the new rules introduced in this product that are not covered in the Beyond the Corset section of the rule book included with the corset. Okay, so it's basically what's already in our current fact. Right. It just and comes with it because current cards in there are a little bit different from what the new rules are stating. Right. And then, of course, there's the, the usual play testers. Oh, look! Paul Heaver. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Dutch is on there. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, I'm looking. No. Poor no. Dutch. Dutch did not get this one. So, uh, but, you know, the usual names and, you know, just, you know, for fun people, read this section every once in a while because you'll recognize some names and then you'll be surprised by names and things like that. So, we're done with that. Yep. Let's go to the let's go to the bag. The contents. All right. So here we have Anakin Skywalker, Rick Ali, and then we'll flip it over for Denny Elberger, Bravo Flight Officer, Padme Amadala, and Naboo Handmaiden. Uh, what we have here, of course, is the dial, uh, a one, one soft, ah, one straight, we don't need that. you know, we don't, we don't need that. Okay. It's got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, yeah. it's got two shields with it. You know, it's the usual tokens, the no shooty, shoot, shoot, uh, focus, evade, blah, 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 you know, so no big whoop here. Nope. We have cards though. So this is where it's important because there is an alternate art card that's in there. Rick Olay. Olay, 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 Olay. 
Same ability, Holy. same everything. Yeah, no difference. In fact, uh, we have Anakin Skywalker. Let's I do try like that spinning. Art. That's a good trick. Yeah. I love the art on that card, though. It's very... Uh, the lighting. I'm just I'm a fan of the lighting. Now, Padme Amidala. I want you to check something out with the Padme Amidala card. Do you have that handy? Yeah, so that one is the alternate art card, um, and that's the one with the featured Naboo Starfighter on it with right no there. paint scheme. Yeah, that's Could. with the chromium paint job. Yeah, hers was, it was originally just her flying to the left on the card, and like, you know, lots of sparks flying and stuff like that. This one is the actual art that it comes with the ship. So, interesting. Uh, don't see much of Padme, but... No. Uh, there's Ellenberger... Yep. Which, Elderberries, yeah. Yes. While you perform attack, if, you, if the speed of your maneuver is the same as your enemy ship, that ship's dice cannot be modified. So interesting. I don't see him very much, but interesting. Could be good for a jank list, maybe. Yep, exactly. Okay, Bravo, flight officer. Yep. Full throttle. After you fully execute a speed three to five maneuver, you may perform a free. Well, it's not free. But yeah, you get to get uh, an evade. And my favorite name so far is the Naboo Handmaiden. Because, you know, handmaidens are known for their piloting skills. Yep. Right. Any other upgrades that come with it? Uh, uh, yes, actually, we have some upgrades. I was going to go through the cards, so I'm going to remove these from here and put them right there. Uh, we have, of course, the quick builds which are the same as the old quick builds because you know they don't change you know but you can have you know a naboo handmaiden helping you out <laughs> and then of course we have padme amidala um these really are not all that exciting i mean it's what we have before the only difference with this set is of course the paint job and the the padme the altar padme. Uh, of course, you get uh, decoyed, and there is a, a token for that. Um, yep. You know, the cardboard small little schmutz thing. Uh, I hear recon specialist, or, or pardon me, recon tokens makes really good tokens, too. So you could probably find something there. Uh, of course, you have Daredevil. Collision detector. Passive sensors. Plasma Torpedoes, R2-A6, and this is where they were talking about all of the, the maneuvers with the rules change. After you reveal your dial, you may set your dial to a maneuver of the same bearing of a speed, one higher or lower. Yep. That's where that explanation came in. Uh, of course, we've got R2C4, and this is uh, dealing with an attack, which, of course, was why they had the other thing there. And the venerable but ever-lovable R2 Astromech. The reason why Points Fortressing is hated. <laughs> so, Patrick, yes. we've gone through the tokens. We've gone through the cards. We even saw the, the, the wonderful base. I think it's time. Let's see that ship. Okay, I'm going to hold it on this slight oh, little angle. Oh, that's pretty. Here. I'm going to slowly rotate. Oh, chrome. And I don't know the, why the droid isn't silver, though, because in the picture, the droid's silver. I, I, I think they were just looking for contract. Now, that is a shiny blue. Yes. And it is a gloss blue for the, 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 the R2 unit. But as you can see here, I mean, it's got good lines. It is, as far as ships go, I mean, it, 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 it's it got a great feel. I mean, it's long, it's elegant, it is, all of those things. Um, you can really see the better paint job on it from when it's behind the plastic. Uh, we'll go look here on the bottom to give you more detail. I'm going to take yeah, the Yeah, I like off. the black ink that they do in the outline. So... Uh, even everywhere, you know, there's even a splash of color down here at the, at the bow of the ship. Um, yeah, the torpedo so, slot. So they really did put, you know, some good paint on this. It it's it is a a good looking ship. Um, you know, would I pay twenty bucks for it if it was in the in the store? Yeah, because it's it's a different paint scheme. It looks good. Um, 
you know. But there she is, guys, all in her, all in her happy glory. Look at her, look at her. She's just. I know. I'm gonna move this out of the way so you can just. Here, let me let me sweep. It's very shiny. I'm not gonna lie. It's shiny. Look, I'm gonna move all uh, the stuff out of the way so you can just just Google at it. Look. All right, so. My next question is, is how easy is this to replicate? You know, honestly, you're going to have to find the right color for the base. But then you can just, you're going to be able to, from what I can see here, you're going to have to put on the silver color first. And then you're going to have to go over that with the gloss. And then into, here, let me get my pointer here so to make sure that everybody understands what I'm talking about. There's this blue that's darker here and fades out as it comes along this nacelle. And so it's darker and then it, it, it's yeah. lightening up as it goes along. That is not shiny. That is applied after the silver coat. And then this darker blue at the front of the nacelle is a glossy type paint. It's the same kind of gloss as the R2 unit on the back. Now the black feature here at the cockpit, that of course is the standard shiny black that you know we've all been using to do the cockpits. But as we come into here, this inside of the welds where we see all the black, this is a very dark wash i don't think it's actually a wash well yeah you know what as i see back here it is a wash but this wash was put on and then rubbed off pretty quick just to get it in there but that is a very dark black wash that they put into there interesting and then as we look at the bottom and i'm going to pull this ship up into the camera a little closer and see if we can't if you see what i'm talking about with Okay, do you see the blue back here and how it fades out? Yep. Okay, that's not shiny. Yeah, no, that's definitely so applied differently with a different know, paint. If you're careful, I mean, you know, the base coat of this is going to be great because, you know, you're just you're just going to airbrush it and it's going to be silver. And or you can take whatever model you have, use the rubber uh Oh, what is the product called? I have it right here. Um, I use Vallejo um, Liquid Mask 70.523 mm -hmm. is the, the number on it, in case you want to reference that. And I'll paint that into the black because I like how FFG does their, their cockpits. And yeah. I always try and salvage that. But I'll put that, that mask, that liquid mask there. I would then hit it up with the color chromium that you want to use. Let that dry. And I mean, let that dry thoroughly. I, I mean, I know we're all using airbrushes for the most part to get this even coating here. But I would let that dry for at least 40 minutes, 45 minutes before you start to muck with it. And then, you know, you're going to come over and you're going to hit your, your gloss on top of it. And then once your gloss is all done, you know, you're going to want to do this shading and you can do that with a brush if you if you um you, you can wet shade that down you know and just keep pulling that color lighter and lighter as you come along the the nacelle off of the back but i mean maybe two hours without masking anything other than that liquid mask throw your wash on it and bang you're good to go can it be done yeah, yeah. I'm excited because I'm going to have you attempt to paint one like this, and I'm going to try to attempt to paint one like this and see how close we can get to the actual thing because currently these are selling on eBay for close to $120 to $160, and yeah. I know. But the, 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 the color match, you, you know, you're going to have to play with it till you find your color match for that chromium color that they're using. Yeah. Um, you know, it's definitely gray and silver based. It's not a hard silver, and it's definitely not a chrome. Chrome is very, very shiny. This is not, but this this is a metallic gray. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You could even go into a chrome type of uh, paint. 
Oh, God, and get yeah. it shinier than this and see what it comes out like because they might have tested that and didn't like the results, so they dulled it down a bit. Well, uh, and I mean, if you wanted to go crazy, insane, stupid, you know, um, who makes it? Uh, uh, Molotow um, makes a liquid chrome. In fact, I'm going to show it here. It's a pen. Yep. Right yeah, here. Yeah, I've used that before. And it's got varying widths and everything. Um, this is some fantastic um, material to use on the ships. I mean, if you want a really chrome-looking thing, that's I, I go with that. And sometimes I use that when I do my tanks um, for, like, the headlights. Yep. So... But yeah, entirely doable. I don't think it's anything that nobody can't do. I actually think you could do it with a brush. If you want to spend the time layering, you can do it definitely with a brush. But yeah. all in all, I'm, I'm pleased with it. And, you know, really, I mean, I can pay, spend $20 on a standard model or I got this for $20. So we are going to do a video to try and replicate this. Um, we're going to show you multiple ways and how you can paint it. If you want it shinier, if you want it duller, um, or if you want an exact replica, we're going to do the best that we can. Padre's going to try to paint one. I'm going to try to paint one for you as well so that you don't have to spend 160 to $120 to obtain one as people are having to do on eBay right and, about now. And, and, and honestly, Patrick, I think it is a good looking ship. I would, you know, if, yeah. if, if I was going to have my, my choice between running the, uh, the chromium yellow or the whole chromium ship, dude, I would, I would love to have a squad of these. They look yeah. that good. Yeah. They're very snazzy. Like I'm not, gonna, they're very nice looking ships compared to their counterpart. Not that the counterparts are bad either. Cause yeah. I do like that nice cla that yellow. Yeah, and, and um, it's a good shape. I mean, it was a good design in the movie. It's a good design here. Yep, exactly. All right, uh, that does it for today. Thank you so much, Padre, for being able to obtain one of these. Uh, I know people are chopping at the bit for it. Uh, but thank you, everyone, for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Yep, have a good time, guys, and uh, happy painting, and uh, see ya!